Hey YouTube, um, by the looks of the title, uh, I have a really good story to tell you guys. What time I want to sleep, what time I woke up, and where I'm at right now. So, let's get going. Dropped out of school, now we done rich. This sound like some 4301 shit. All my niggas want to do is pop style. As you guys know, I don't like to go ahead and script anything, write anything down. Um, but um, but yeah, like this this channel, like I'll repeat again and I'll keep repeating it. It is not scripted. It would not be scripted. And um, yes, I do stop the video, redo what I want to say, cause sometimes I feel like I don't say it right or it doesn't come out right or something like that. But it's not that I'm scripting anything because obviously you guys could. Oh, my buns on, on fleek. Um, anything that comes in my video, I usually try to edit the parts where people are talking or um, I messed up or I mean you'll you'll be able to see like you know once I get into more um recording. There are gonna be people that do not get recorded and that's when I'm gonna not basically blog so sometimes when so I was bugging me sometimes um when I don't blog it's I'm gonna pick you guys up sometimes when I don't blog it's because um um because the person that I'm around with they don't want to be um videotaped I'm sorry um they don't want to be videotaped it so you know I gotta um be kind of on, on there like okay if they don't want to be videotaped I'm not gonna go ahead and make my make my blog you know it's like um when you they want to take a picture and you're there it's like they're gonna tell you hey get move out of the picture or you want to be in the picture you know what I mean like it's it's their privacy so I mean if I go down to my mom's house and my sister's there and she wants to be in my blogs then you're more than welcome sister to get in my blogs Anybody that knows me, if you guys want to be on my videos, let me know. Hey, Brenda, can I be in one of your videos? It's fine. I'm not going to, like, say no. Yeah, as long as you don't say nothing dumb, then we're good, you know? Um, yeah, one other more thing. My son, he has, he made another video, I mean, another channel. Um, I will link it down below, but I still don't know the name. So, once I get to know all that information... Because he says, Mom, I want to have two channels. Oh, that ice machine is freaking out. Um, I want to have two channels. I want to have one for gaming and one for blogging. I'm like, hey, you know what? Whatever helps you, I mean, whatever you like, we do that. Don't worry about it. We could go ahead and, and I could help you out on making your blogs. If you want to make your uh, videos, I could help you edit them. Um, add your intro, add your ex, um, your outro, whatever you want me to do, add music, this and that. I'll help you do it. Cause he has a Chromebook, but it's not working out for him. Cause you can't do, you can't edit videos there, unless you like put your video on YouTube and then edit from there. But then people, are, you know, YouTubers, you know what I'm talking about, right? All right. All right. So um, the video that I'm gonna record. All right. So, um. Yeah, like I was telling you guys, um, last night I ended up going to sleep, hold on, alright, so last night I ended up going to sleep, hold on, I chose the wrong place to put this man, I swear, so last night I went to sleep pretty late, um, well, all right, let's make this into a blog slash story time. So yesterday, I didn't end up vlogging at all. I woke up late. I went to sleep late last night. No, not, not last night. The day before last night. So Saturday to wake up Sunday. And then Sunday, I woke up around 12. Um, Why would the boy didn't want to sleep late? I don't even remember. Oh, we were watching the, the fight. Um, Mayweather versus Mc, McGregor or something like that. Um... I don't understand why was he fighting the way he was fighting. It didn't make no sense. Um, after my husband explained the McGregor, he was UFC. 
and went into boxing, dude, you should have stayed in UFC. Um, I seen the way he was fighting, trying to hit him behind the head. Dude, what is up with that shit? Anyways, that's not my problem. I didn't, good thing I didn't pay for the fight because I, we have the, um, the live stream. No, not live stream, I'm sorry. The smart stream. So we have that, um, we watch the, uh, like, mostly, like, the ending of the freaking fight because my husband couldn't put it. I'm like, he waited until I literally, I went to go get Subway, I went to go, um, freaking Carl Jr. We went, I went everywhere with my son. I ended up coming, he's like, can you put the fight? I'm like, dude, what's up, man, what's up? Alright, so I ended up putting it, we watched the fight, we went to sleep late. Oh, yeah, we were playing Call of Duty last, um, the day before last night. And then I woke up late, I woke up like around 12. <sighs> oh my god, this is gonna be a long video, I'm sorry guys, but, you know. I'll probably edit it out or something. Um, so, okay, I woke up late. My sister-in-law's are like, hey, you want to go ahead and make some gorditas with carne and whoop de woo I'm like, yeah, let's go ahead. Let's go to the store. I was pretty tired. I'm like, yeah. I was pretty, yeah. I wasn't tired, but you know when you want to kind of sleep in? You know what I'm talking about, right? When you want to sleep in and you just want to chill like for the day. So, yeah, I wanted to go ahead and do that. It ended up not happening. Sorry. I don't know what the hell. I think I'm going to get sick. Um, we ended up going to Cardenas. I'm going to put out the name out there because that is not acceptable. If you, anybody that sells stuff, um, anything that has to do with food, um, it's pretty much you have to be on top of your meats your vegetables anything that is um expirable like what do you what do you mean like okay like let's say if you were to buy like meat from that place that i just mentioned which i don't know what's gonna happen after i i go ahead and put you guys on blast but that is pretty wrong that this is not the first time it happened to us but i was just trying to like okay so maybe the first time that we got that it was a different kind of meat it was not even the same meat okay so we got a different meat that meat would, um, it was supposed to be, you could tell when the meat is right. So when we bought, we purchased the meat, um, it was, it looked kind of weird and it had like a weird smell. And you know, when you, when you buy that certain kind of meat, you already know the smell. So when it has a different smell, you're like, okay, something's wrong. Yeah, that's what happened on the first time we bought the meat. So we, we went to go ahead and we were still in Gardenas when we told him we don't want it no more. He could go ahead and keep it because we're not going to take it. Okay, the second, this is this happened a long time ago, and then, yeah, yesterday, we went again, we purchased, like, you know, the groceries for the week, and then, um, she's like, oh, well, let's just get the meat here, and I'm like, well, we're already here, so might as well just get it, so we don't have to be, like, stopping, like, from here, and then, we usually like to, like, to, the little markets that they have, um, sorry, there's a car passing by, um, that they have meat, like, a meat product thing, it's like a liquor store slash market, well, yeah, we usually buy our meats there because sometimes, and this is not to be batching on any, like, product out there, I mean, like, markets out there, but sometimes the little markets have better meats than the, like, higher quality, you know, top of the line uh, food merchandise out there. And that's pretty sad because if you are, um, you know, a chain that you guys have a lot of freaking stores with your brand, and you guys are not keeping up with the demands and you guys are over buying meats that you guys are not going to sell that's pretty ridiculous because you're going to get people sick and that's wrong you know so anyways back to the whole um story thing um oh my god so we went we bought our food we bought the masa for the little gorditas um i i cut the meat and by the way it had a lot of freaking like you know what the in Spanish, they call it the pejos. Uh, maybe like the fatness of the meat. It had a lot of that. And when I was cutting it, the meat kind of felt weird. But I'm like, okay, maybe it's because it was uh, marinated. Maybe that's the reason it was kind of a little bit more tender, more soft. So I'm like, okay, you know what? I told my, my sister and I'm like, you know what? The meat seems kind of like, you know, too soft and it looks kind of weird. And then we kind of like, we kind of brushed it off. We're like, maybe because it's marinated, you know? We didn't know. So, wrong as a mistake. We should have just returned the freaking meat right then and there. 
So what ended up happening was that I cooked the meat. It took a long time to cook the meat. I cooked the meat. I shouldn't even have done that. I, I grabbed the, um, the meat was already cooked. I grabbed the peas and I ate it to, you know, you know, try the meat, see how, if it was, um, tender or soft or whatever. But the meat was already done because it was cooking for a good 20 minutes. And it's meat. Usually, you know, meat takes less time. Anyways, whatever. Um, I tried the meat and honestly made me want to throw up. And I told her, you know what, the meat tastes weird. I don't want to eat it, you know. She's like, well, then call the store and let them know that you're going to return it back to give it back the money. So I did that. I called the store. Hey, you know what? Your meat with the wood doesn't taste good. It tastes like if it's, it's if it's you know, um, expired. It doesn't taste right. So um, we were finishing the gorditas. We have finished putting the food away. And she's like, well, what do you want to do? I'm like, I'm going to return it. And I'm going to go get the money back. And we're going to go ahead and go to the little stores. So we ended up doing that. I took my son with me. We ended up going returning back the carne. And the girl was kind of dumb. Okay, so if I'm going to go return your meat and I want my money back, what makes you think I want the meat back? If I'm telling you that the meat doesn't work. Common sense, dude. Common sense. So that kind of pissed me off. I'm like, so we're returning back the meat. And you're telling us, oh, she, because uh, I was leaving with my son out the door. And then she's all like, are you going to take your meat? I'm like, no, you can keep it. <laughs> if I came back to return back the meat because I want my money back, doesn't mean I'm going to take the meat with me that I didn't like in the first place. Doesn't make sense. Anyways, so I went up to the little store. And, okay, so I woke up at 12. I haven't ate anything. I woke up at 12. We went shopping. By the time we got home, it was already like 2 something, like 2.30ish. Okay, so when I was cooking... Okay, so I went to go run the errand again, go get the good meat, come back. By the time I came back, it was already like 3.30 and I haven't eaten no breakfast. Well, it was my fault because I woke up late. But, yeah, so I came back home. Um, I was cooking that meat. I even told the guys when I went to the restaurant, I mean to the restaurant, to the um, meat market, I'm like, I'm never buying um, meat from that place no more. I'm done with it. And he's like, what happened? I'm like, well, I just purchased, like, it's called ranchera. I purchased a ranchera, um, you know, the the meat that's prepared to go ahead and grill. Okay, I purchased that, and it, it tastes weird and look weird. And then he explained it, like, maybe they overbuy meats, and they're overstocking it, and it's about to expire, so they like to marinate it, and then they like to sell it like that. When you marinate a food, doesn't mean that it's going to last longer. It means that you already put the condiments. Anyways, well, the meat market where we go to, the little tienditos. Um, let's say you buy, like, ranchera, right? To go ahead and make um, carne asada or a barbecue. Um, you could either purchase it how it comes, not marinated, just the meat. Or you could let them know, can you marinate my meat for me? Boom. You, and then I just instantly when we came back and we, and we cut the meat and everything and, and, and it was, it didn't even take that long. The meat really didn't dispense so much juice or, re, um, God, oh my God, why is my battery freaking dying? I charged it yesterday. Um, they didn't really release so much juices. That's what I'm trying to say for the last freaking 500 years. Okay, so it didn't really... It didn't release so much juices. Um, the meat was actually faster. It, it came out to be faster. We ended up eating. I was already like not even hungry no more. Oh, there was another car. <laughs> I wasn't even hungry no more. I told my, my sister and I'm like, you're not doing it. Oh, dude. Oh my God. The freaking pimples bugging me. I'm like, I'm not even hungry no more. I only ate like three gorditas. I usually eat like five. And she's like, why are you not hungry? I'm like, well, I was up and down trying to get the freaking meats. And then I come home, I cooked. I'm like, eh, I'm not hungry that much. So, yeah. I cooked late. Um, my sweater came by. 
Uh, she ate some gorditas as well. She said they were pretty good because the meat was good. And then she left late. Um, my husband started doing his stuff for his um, work, getting the stuff ready, like um, all his equipment that he needs for the week. He was, you know, fixing it because it was a long time since he fixed it. I'm going to try to go ahead and, you know, talk a little bit faster because my battery is about to die. Um, he fixed his equipment. Hold on. 